Many years ago, Apple released an iOS update that crashed Facebook ad tracking. Since that time, Facebook is trying to improve their tracking by enabling additional tools like Conversions API that are helping to track more proper the iOS events that are happening on your website and to track the purchases that you are getting. Let's discuss how you can configure it on WordPress and Shopify. Hi guys, my name is Eugene from Webogle and probably you're already using Facebook Pixel in order to track the traffic that is coming to your website and events that they're doing on it. But we noticed that a lot of companies are not using Conversions API to track events on iOS devices in order to increase the targeting for your Facebook ads and get as many results as possible. So you have your data coming from the Facebook Pixel and from Conversions API from server data that you connected and Facebook literally comparing those two events in order to find if they are matching and if this event really happened or not. Let's see how it works and how you can install Conversions API for your website. First of all, let's find out if you have your Conversions API installed on your website or not. To do this, we need to open our Events Manager and choose the right pixel on Facebook Business Account. As you can see right now, for this particular company, we have Conversions API installed. How to find out? If you have on your integration only browser mentioned, that means that you're tracking data only from your Facebook pixel. If you have browser and conversions API, that means that Facebook is tracking data from two sources, from your pixel with browser and conversions API. Also, you can verify it by clicking on a particular event, choosing the event, and you will see two types of events tracked. As you can see, you have 31 events tracked, 16 from them from your browser, that means Facebook Pixel, and 15 from servers, that means Conversions API. And finally, you can see the total events on the bottom, 15, because the main one is the Conversions API, not your Facebook Pixel. Now let's jump to Shopify in order to find out how to install it. First of all, you know that Facebook Pixel can be installed by a simple code. Facebook Conversions API can be installed with a simple code. You need to have an integration or you, if you have a custom code website, you will need to install many codes manually and that means that you will definitely need the developer that will be able to track and to configure those events, sending the data about your products, about the price, about sales price, etc. manually from your website to server with K Conversions API. That's not simple at all. So today we are going to show you only the simplest way with Shopify and WordPress. Let's jump and see how it works. First, we are opening our Shopify and on the top we have our search bar where we need to search a Facebook application that is pre-installed on most Shopify websites. As you can see, we have Facebook and Instagram. We are clicking on it. As I already deleted the pixel from this website in order to reinstall it, you will see the screen exactly as I have. You are scrolling down and you are starting your setup. You are clicking on Start Setup. Now you can see the screen that explains you on how it works and you just need to click Next. Now we need to connect our Facebook Ads account. What does it mean? That means that you need to be logged in on your browser with the same Facebook account that you would like to connect. That's important because if you're trying to connect the accounts you don't have access to or you're just not logged in with your private account, it will not work for you. We are clicking on connect account. As you can see, a new tab appeared and now we can click continue. Now we can see different assets that can be connected. First of all, you need to choose your business manager that will be related to this particular company. As we have many companies that we are managing, we will choose the right one. We are scrolling down and we are searching for the companies that we need. Here are the pages that we need and we are choosing Facebook and Instagram page and clicking connect. Next thing that we need to do is enable data sharing. We are checking change and we need to share the data Use maximum sharing because it will allow you to collect as many data as possible and have this data in use for your Facebook ads optimizations. Click Save. Now we need to choose the pixels that will be associated with our particular website. We are scrolling down and we are choosing the pixels that we need. Clicking on Connect. Then we have the contact info, it's not important for us and you don't need to change the return window in days. So we're just clicking Save. Finally, we need to choose the terms and conditions. We need to check this box, 
scroll down and click Submit for Review. As you can see, it's finalizing the channel setup. In just in a few seconds, we will have our Facebook Pixel connected together with Conversions API that will help you to track properly the data and you will be able to use it in order to optimize your Facebook campaigns and get as many results as possible. With WordPress, it works pretty the same. You have the same connection system, but you need to install the plugin that is not pre-installed as it made on Shopify. So we need to open our WordPress and click on Plugins, Add New. In the search bar, you will need to tap one of two versions. If you're owning a WordPress website, you will need to search for Metapixel for WordPress. And if you own a WooCommerce website with e-commerce on board, you will need to search for WooCommerce Metapixel. This is important because they have different connection system. And if you only have a WordPress website, it will not allow you to connect with WooCommerce because you will not have a few assets that must be connected. We already have this plugin pre-installed for WordPress, so we'll just move forward to the connection. It doesn't matter which plugin you will use, you will have the same connection screen with one, only one button, get started. We are clicking on it. The same as on Shopify, we have the new tab that is appearing where we will need to connect our Facebook. We continue with our private account. The next step will be to choose our business assets as on the screen before with the Shopify. You can see that we are choosing our business manager. This is right for this website. Then we are choosing the page. We need to scroll down and find the page that is associated with this account. Let's scroll down and find it. Here it is. We are clicking on it and clicking next. The next thing, we will need to connect Instagram. If you have it, you can connect it. That will help you to track data from Instagram too. Next. Now we need to choose the ad account that will be used. We recommend you to have the ad account, Facebook ad account pre-configured before because it will allow you to simplify this connection. So we are searching for ad account for this particular company. We have multiple ad accounts, so it will take a few minutes. Here it is. Here is the ad account. We are checking it and then moving to the next step. The final step is choosing your pixels that you would like to connect with the conversions API. You're choosing the pixel associated with this account. Perfect. And the final step is clicking next. Again, next. Now we are waiting for WooCommerce or WordPress, depending on your platform, to connect it. And voila, we have it connected. We are clicking on done. And the page that you had before should be refreshed in order to find out if the connection is working well. You can see we see connection pending. Now we have the tab where you need to click and check the box and finally click on confirm that will finalize your connection with Conversions API. Voila, we have Conversions API installed on our WordPress website, we finalized it and we will track all the data properly right now from this website. Important things that I need to tell you is that some events are pre-configured on Conversions API and they will be tracked automatically. If somebody is searching on your website with the search bar, it will be tracked. If somebody is starting checkout, that will be tracked. If somebody is adding something to cart as well, it will be tracked as well as purchased. But if you want to track a particular button or a particular process or visiting a particular page, that will be not possible without manually configuring these events. In our upcoming videos, we will show you how you can configure these events in order to track and to build the right funnel for your business. This will help you to optimize your ads and to get as many results as possible. Stay tuned to not miss the upcoming videos and feel the difference with Webogle.